Oh no, sorry. Um, Nick Cody and uh, but I'm just gonna grab that. First. Yeah. Um, but free band. You said it's like I've never done a podcast before yeah. in my life. I'm like do leading I onto the speak? microphone. Like, do I speak now or forever hold my face? I have two the podcasts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have two podcasts. Yeah, yeah. I yelled them into a megaphone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done Room for a third. Yeah. 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 Um. But yeah, Bart Freeband and Nick Cody used to have a podcast. It was a really funny podcast. Yeah, I heard that was great. Yeah, and they used to record it anywhere. Like I was in a toilet. I think it was called something for the drive. Something like that. Yeah. Bad like Town Boys. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's what it was called. It's called Tokyo Boys. Yeah. <laughs> and um. Tokyo Shock Boys, I think I mean there. Not sure what I mean. But yeah, but they used to record it anywhere. So it was like in a toilet, in yeah, a cafe. Yeah. And one time I remember walking by them and they're just sitting in a cafe having a chat and they're like, they call me over. And I realised halfway through I'm on their podcast. And like they just got a Zoom recorder in the middle of the table. And I just yeah. started talking about a gig that I had the night before and I was going, right. I was talking about it pretty openly. And oh, then I realized, so you're doing all the slurs. I was doing it, yeah, do, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, using yeah, all yeah. the slurs. This urnt <laughs> booked me. Yeah, that's right. And this <laughs> other urnt was like on stage before me and I'm like, oh, I feel the diversity quota. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Women, so am many, I right? Yeah, yeah. so many I wasn't even doing my gear like, is this thing on? Yeah. But then, um, but then, yeah, it got, yeah, and then I had to like quickly shift gears so quickly when I oh. found out that I was on a podcast. But I do like it sometimes when you don't know that someone's recording. And then oh, you just oh start it's so good! And yeah. you go really hard. There was a there was a friend recently that was telling me about they accidentally left a bit in their podcast. Like oh, they didn't yeah. edit it out and they were like going pretty hard on yeah. like three people and <laughs> and like but like really hard yeah. and they just kept going and going and going. <laughs> and so pe- people started messaging being like, oh guys, I reckon you should take that take out. that bit out in the middle where you go uh, really hard against all these comics that you hate. <laughs> <laughs> like, I reckon you should maybe cut that. Cut bit that out. and then put it on the Patreon. But yeah, yeah. Patreon yeah. only. That's yeah. how Patreon works. Yeah, 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 yeah. the yeah. hate filled stuff that's behind the paywall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff you can't get for free. Oh man, <laughs> all the people we hate. Oh, I've oh, always, God. yeah, I always thought you should we should do an anonymous. But now this is you know showed our hand. But mm. you do an anonymous podcast where it's like you know just obviously no video. Yeah, and you yeah, got yeah. those voice disguisers on yeah, that's and great. then we we finally speak our minds on yeah everyone that's great. in the industry you can't promote and, it <laughs> no. <laughs> it'll get around but just put it on the dark web see yeah. what happens i reckon <laughs> yeah i reckon fifteen hundred dollars an episode you yeah like that's Patreon's right. 1500 bucks and you say like, whatever like you grand. want yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah there'll be some people that would do that as well like they'll yeah. come on as guests because they're like yeah i love people that are so open about like I love meeting yeah. someone and they go so hard straight away. Oh yeah, and and they don't really hold back at all. And I find that so endearing when yeah. someone's just like going, "Oh, how are you? Yeah, God, I fucking hate that guy over there." That's just <laughs> that's <laughs> how Mike gets work. He shits on people and then just starts working yeah. with them. He's shat on Andy Lee and now yeah. he works with him. That's I'm pretty so sure he's shat on Husey yeah. like so many times. Yeah. He's like, "Yeah, I played tennis with Husey." I'm like, never shat on Husey in my life, and yeah. I've never played tennis with him. You got to start, man. Yeah, I got to start, dude. dude Husey. You know. You suck. <laughs> you yeah. suck, man. You suck, Yuzi. I mean, you know, you, the, the charm level's got to be at a crazy level. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You haven't got, quite got it, kid. <laughs> And they're like, anyway. yeah, Cab is really angry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, there's no no charm about him. Yeah. <laughs> He's just angry. He's just using... angry. Just really bitter. Well, the Cab difference, bitter. yeah, I've been shitting on people since day one. If you started now, it would seem like you had a chip on your shoulder. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So yeah. I'm you're like, jaded you now. Can't, right? You yeah. can't start shitting on people at like 41. You've got to no. start yeah. at an early age. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got you to really work. you got to come career. out of the gates. You've got to come out of the gates. Mean. Running. And shouting. You see that in some young comics that they're already like bitter and like the chip on the shoulder. And you're like, you got to earn that, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I had six years off stand up. I came back in like November. So I've only been doing it again for like six months. Yeah. And um and as soon as I came back, it was so funny to hear people I'd never met before going, oh, this guy and this guy. And then uh, someone yeah. random just goes, oh, Fleety. And I was like, you've never met Fleety. Yeah. You haven't earned your stripes. Yeah, I've yeah, earned yeah, my yeah, fucking yeah, stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can talk about Fleety and Fiona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All those people. And they're, yeah. they're like, nah, nah, you haven't got those stripes. Yeah. Yet. And you haven't been through the awful, awful, <laughs> awful gigs for the trenches, so long. Dude. You yeah, haven't been through the trenches yeah. just yeah. yet. Jack Bruce and I, uh, we... We just so sometimes just just talk about Fleety for hours on end <laughs> yeah. or an hour yeah. on end. Yeah. Just about just how good like just how unique he was in the comedy scene. Oh my god. That he was yeah. like a bloke. Yeah. Like a guy that you could have a beer at the pub with. But then yeah. also just so weird on so stage. So weird and so idiot. And had the best Best jokes, best. Oh it was just God. like crazy, like a force of nature. Yeah, yeah I, it's up to you if you want to cut this. Such out a glue. Yeah. But Fleety, um, I remember one time, um, 
my favourite joke ever of Fleet is because it only because it divided the audience straight away, and he was so good at comedy for that time when I met him yeah. Yeah. that he he wanted a challenge. Uh-huh. Yeah, like he was yeah. so good yeah, that he just wanted yeah. to like turn half the audience. Oh, off put people away. offside yeah. and see yeah. if you can win them. Try back. and win them back. Uh-huh. And he had this joke that he'd open with, where he'd get up on stage and go, "Hey guys, it's comedy legend Greg Fleet. Greg Fleet, they're going to bring some Fleet magic tonight. Uh, what should I open with?" And he goes. Um, I had sex with a pedophile the other day. Yeah. Huh. Oh, no. That was years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and he would, he would space out the pause longer yeah, and longer yeah, yeah, each yeah. time. Yeah. And then sometimes he'd have tears in his eyes yeah. and he'd call out a name. Like he'd be Uncle Terry, Uncle Terry. And it would just, and it would space out. And <laughs> half Uncle the audience Terry. hated it so much. Yeah. Oh, man, that's and half amazing. Of them. But I, I always talk about Fleety as like going, you know, when I started, like, Fleety, because I was like, I think 18 when I started doing stand up. Like, um, Fleety and Lawrence Mooney were these two that you're either like, you're either a Mooney person or a Fleety person when yeah, I started. Yeah. And it was so funny because Fleety had the weirdest, the weirdest jokes. And he'd go really hard on some things and then he'd back out of it so quickly and the yeah. audience would hate him and he'd have to win them back so fast. Yeah. But it was the best to watch oh, for yeah. us. Like it was oh, way, but oh, like so I'm sure audiences most of the time were like, yeah. what I'm, the hell is this? I remember one time he emceed the mic in hand. Yes. And Fleety did, I reckon, 20 minutes between each act. <laughs> Every act bombed. But he killed so hard. Really? You just wanted more. You're just like, I just want more Fleety. Yeah, yeah, Give yeah. us more Fleety. Every act bombed. <laughs> so bad. And it's just yeah. like, yeah, bring Fleety back on. Like, fuck the headliner. Yeah. It was so funny. Him talking about Such like a um, comedian, Anthony Morgan, who was like yep. a big star back in the day, like yeah. huge. And Fleety said, which I kind of think is true of him as well. He said uh, that the best three gigs he ever saw were Anthony Morgan and the worst three gigs he ever saw were Anthony Morgan. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I kind of think the same with Fleety for a bit because yeah. I saw Fleety do some of the worst stuff in the world yeah. but then he was also the best uh, and yeah, it was yeah. so hard because it was such a weird thing where you go I wonder what Fleety we're getting tonight I don't know, it was so hard you yeah. could not tell which oh, one you're going to get yeah, yeah. he could be yeah. asleep um, about to get on stage like he would be nodding off he'd be nodding off and then someone would go you're about to go on and yeah. he'd go oh fuck and he just walked straight on and he would kill. Yeah. Like he'd be so funny. And then other times he'd kind of walk up and he'd be like kind of looking at the ground and not really into it. And then just kind of walk up and go, I don't need this. Yeah. yeah. I don't need this. Fucking <laughs> hell. I, also, we're talking about bitter. I, I saw, uh, yeah, when I kind of started doing stand up again, went to a comedy night. It was a comedian and she got up and she said, um, like the comedian weren't, re- the, sorry, the audience weren't really giving her a lot. Yeah. And she said, um, I don't need this. I'm on TV. No. Nah. Yeah. And I'll tell you who it was after. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah. I was like, I, it made me laugh. <laughs> and um, and Nighty was there. It's funny yeah. if you I, say it tongue in cheek a little bit. Like, yeah. You know, it, but, but it wasn't It, wasn't, that. it, it was, was earnest. Angry. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so Nighty was like, I looked at Nighty straight away, who was like, yeah. just um, <laughs> leaned over to me and goes, are you? Yeah. Like, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then I got up straight away and I was like, um, I, I think I said something. Something like, uh, I, I actually need this. I'm not on TV. I don't have TV to back me up like this person. And, and, oh, great. and, and but, but it was like. So you started a war. I started, yeah. I started a war. Was she still in the room? Yeah. Yes. I didn't know that until after, but I was still like, it doesn't yeah. matter anyway. But, um, but yeah, it was so intense because I was like, why are you so bitter? Because you're doing really well. Like I was looking at someone going, oh, you're actually doing really well. Yeah. And you're really bitter about a comedy night. And I always find it really interesting when people get angry at the audience that are there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's, so, it's like the people you're angry at are the people that didn't come. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. the people that are there are actually really cold and they've come out of their house on, yeah. like a, on a Tuesday Spend money. Night. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. not having a good time either. <laughs> but none of us are having a good time. Yeah. I, I love telling things. crowds they suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I like, I love, like, because I feel like, again. Friday night, you were so amazing. Uh, we did Coopers together. Yeah. And Saturday. I, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. And I, yeah, and uh, Mike came into a very odd room. Like, it was a good room, but it was also, there were three chatty Cathy's yeah. like, right up the front. Those old ladies. The, the, yeah. Very drunk. Very drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you were straight on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, because that's it. Either you ignore them, I mean, that tactic, or you just, like, tell them they should be at home flicking their withered old beans. <laughs> <laughs> and then they... <laughs> just like, do what you like, said. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You're with it all, Bean. I love that. And then they're just like, they erupted. They were like, they were so into it. But it's, yeah, it. it's like, it is a gamble. Like, because yeah. it could have turned the room or yeah. whatever. Oh, but. Yeah. Those three, so they were like, obviously, like, they felt like aunties. Like, they yeah. were just like, they were so, they'd like, you know, um, like, 
regular like black hair, but like a a, a big pink. Four straight, drunk like, aunties. The, four dr- yeah, one, one up, four yeah. drunk. That's right. Yeah. Beating me and Bron Lewis. <laughs> but then uh, as they were leaving, when I was outside across the road getting my Uber, yeah, there was uh, the one of them that the Uber their Uber had pulled up on the other side. Yeah, and she went. Mm-mm. That she wasn't going to cross the road, so she kept doing this, like turn it, turn it around. Right, and oh, wow. she was so aggressive, yeah. like she was like needlessly aggressive. Yeah, and she kept doing it over and over. She's like, I'm not moving and everything. And then as soon as like, you could just see her yelling at the Uber. Oh. so you did a great job keeping them in line. <laughs> well, for a that was bit like Uber drive. I mean, it's such a cliche now, but yeah. like if you envisioned a Karen, mm. that's like these ladies, right? That yeah. Fun, yeah. that like that haircut, yeah, 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 yeah. drunk middle, well, yeah. older. They were probably in their. 50s or 60s, and right? Yeah. Well, yeah, and what was weird as well, I did my set and uh, I walked off and Mike thought that I had a friend that was walking with me. Like yeah. He was in the front row and he walked with me, this random guy. I didn't know him at all. Yeah. And he ran and he started telling me, giving me instant feedback. Tags and stuff. Tags and stuff. Oh, man. An and audience he member. with me. <laughs> and so <laughs> Mike thought it was a friend of mine because who else would do oh, that? Oh, yeah. Like, I thought your buddy was like, you brought a buddy along and like, give me notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sat in the front and oh, yeah. walked with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Dr. Phil, you know how he used to grab his wife's hand and walk off? I do that with an audience member every night. <laughs> I just grab their hand and walk off after yeah. I said. Was this Saturday, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because I was in Wagga on Friday and I just had a, you know, when you just go, is the full moon out? Yeah. Oh. Like, it's just it like the, the audience was like so good. They were awesome. All oh, right. But then they just got completely pissed afterwards. And you know, when you just, you know, when you got a bunch of drunk people and they're all like leaning on each this other. This is like, just Wagga. That has nothing to do with <laughs> full moon. Yeah, or you know, you just like, <laughs> got a bunch of drunk people and they're like, hey, we're having a good time. Everyone's yeah, yeah, riffing yeah. off each other's stories. Or you have a bunch of drunk people and they're all weird. It's like sure. a fucking ward at a, yeah. you know, at a uh, at an insane asylum <laughs> where, and you're just putting out spot fires like they're all coming at you. One, yeah. and you're just like fending off one. Yeah, you're just yeah, trying yeah. to talk to you. One friend is there, <laughs> and this guy walked up, and Brett, Brett walks up to me and he goes, "Man, there's this guy who crashed his motorbike, and he patched his radiator up with tree sap." Yeah, pretty funny story, right? And I'm yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah," and then. Ten minutes later, this dude just corners me, and I'm talking to someone else, this old guy, and he's like, I'll show you the photos of patching my motorbike up with tree sap. And his wife just loses interest, right, just walks away. Yeah. And his wife comes up and tries to kiss me and just (laughs) gets a selfie with me, but she's going like this, right? And then there's this couple that are on the tables – and this guy's like kind of doing this weird dance, like like that. <laughs> He's going, <laughs> like this awesome. weird dance. Yeah. And then the tree sap motorbike guy just brings over this random woman into the conversation, and she's staring at me like intently, yeah. like waiting for me to talk. Yeah. And I'm I'm like, do you know her? And he goes, no, I just thought I'd bring her over. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and then this poor other comic, he's he's trying to talk about motorbikes or whatever. And then the old guy starts going into a story and then the comic starts trying to add to the story and then the old guy goes like this he goes stop 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 Mm. and then he continues his story and then when he's finished he goes now you can start your story isn't that the weirdest fucking (laughs) thing ever it's so weird that's That's right so weird and i got cornered by the same lady who was staring at me in the toilet and her her partner was there and he was and I was, I was like, it was just the weirdest thing because she was like, so what are you doing now? And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go to this bar and have a drink. And she goes, suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> weird. Yeah. I got dancing on the table over there. Yeah. Like, like, it's so weird. I'm like, i got to get out of here. And then yeah. we go, yeah, it was just a full cornering of the weirdos. It's yeah. so funny. I find, yeah, like going and doing country gigs, like they get so much drunker than but yeah. there's no like there's hardly there's one taxi probably yeah yeah you know they're driving home oh of course you know they're yeah, driving yeah, home yeah, yeah. 100%. after having a big night out, <laughs> watching comedy and then saying don't you talk yet don't you talk <laughs> yeah, yet. yeah 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 oh. so weird <laughs> and um, the guy dancing that was like the uh, entertainment that was booked yeah. for after the <laughs> yeah. show dude. he was like doing this yeah. weird dance around the table a jig they call it a jig yeah just like ponytail yeah. on top of his head yeah like, wearing a uh, like a breasted suit to a comedy he yeah, said, it was so weird, he's got dude. two of those happening. old like uh, liquor, you know, those old barrel liquor bottles. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 he's trying any gear that'll work. <laughs> yeah, I'll it. use anything. <laughs> he's killing.
killing over there. Yeah, yeah. To those two people. Yeah. All right. Well, should we get into the to get into the bloody episode, Michael? Oh yeah. This is all just preamble, dude. Preamble. Oh we all love right, a big let's preamble. Do it. We love it's a big this. preamble. Yeah. We love to pray. Yeah. Pre amble. Yeah. Pre amble. We no pre- post amble. We, we pre everything. We premeditate. We pre mature ejaculate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. You two did this before. Okay. <laughs> we all premature ejaculate out the front together. <laughs> it's actually awesome. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool, good. guys. Yeah. Just hanging out, <laughs> shooting the breeze. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you see if we do it all together. You know, like synchronized swimming. <laughs> yeah. Synchronized ejaculating. You message me and go, if you want to come, come early. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I've like sometimes I've watched I've watched a porno. Where like the Here two dudes are, yeah. That's how every good story starts Hell yeah <laughs> The two dudes are like Jacking on the girl at the end Oh I thought Which there was I, just two dudes yeah. Oh two dudes <laughs> I'm, just watching, I'm just only watching yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just watching two You know when you're watching porn You're just watching two dudes yeah. Watching two dudes time, Sometimes man. watching a porno the And that's two my dudes. porn sometimes Just watching two dudes Not just even hang out Not even have sex Which is fine Just Seinfeld yeah, You know yeah, yeah. Just Whatever Just Kramer dudes. and Jerry Just hang out yeah, yeah. yeah I just keep editing it So there's always just two dudes In, in, in the Block out the other two But when they, You know when they like Spray And they do it at the same time I'm like no. man that, That's uh, On the the, on the woman. Oh, right, okay, right. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you know when you're like kids and you're like pissing and you like cross swords, like you're like yeah. fighting with them. It's like that. Yeah, it's like yeah. the, the porn version. Yeah, it's the you adult guys version. Ejaculating. You guys both work in the arts, like me, but yeah. you're still like what, watching two dudes. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you're watching two dudes have sex. I've never I'm watched. Square, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever watched uh, out of. And I'm not saying I don't watch porn. I watch plenty. You yeah, know, I'm yeah. a big connoisseur, but I don't. Yeah. I don't think I've ever watched them cross jizz streams before. No, I don't. I don't. No, know. I don't know. <laughs> Not cross jizz streams. Just do it at the same time. On the well, you never know. There's probably ones where they do it. But I'm like, yeah. that's a sign of a true performer. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that's yeah. a good performer being able to do that. Yeah. Like your mates there. Oh, the you're, timing you're of it. Hetero. You yeah, the timing is, yeah. is yeah. insane. Yeah. yeah. Like that's so crazy. You're being saying these are it. true professionals. Yeah, that deserve awards and respect. Yeah, yeah. They do. They do deserve respect. I mean, yeah. You know, they like. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Like that's not, you know, a very good performance. Yeah, the acting but isn't so good. You're looking at your buddy, you yeah. you're 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 hetero. Yeah. And you're like, with him after. You like you got to spray <laughs> yeah. at the same time as him. You're and like, are you nearly there? You're you nearly there. Spray the Cross same. ropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like that's 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 skill. Yeah. yeah. I, I always love uh the comments that people leave on porn videos. Like they're some of my favorite things Man. to read the people and I'm going, when are they posting? Is it is it when they're like oh, in the mood or oh, is no. it after? Where like cause some of them are so angry. Yeah. yeah, yeah for yeah. no reason. Dude the one comment I saw and I've been trying to do a bit about it where it's like the thing was like MILF's heaven or something, right? And someone commented, uh, MILF's is actually inaccurate because the plural of MILF is MILF because it would be mothers I'd like to fuck, oh. not mothers I'd like to fucks. <laughs> and so, like, he wanted, like, someone going in. And it's, so yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. And it really turned me off. Yeah. I'm back to watching yeah. two guys. So so MILF's so. is grammatically incorrect because it's like, it, it was so funny That's, to me. Sorry, oh, <laughs> just watch a MILF's heaven or something yeah. and been like, no, 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 you can't pluralize a MILF. <laughs> you turned me off here. <laughs> Dude, oh, it's so good. I like a laugh as much as the next person. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, um, fuck. I mean, we haven't even started I the episode. One, yeah. We're talking crossing the yeah. ropes. Dude. I was yeah. trying to like <laughs> think one uh, where uh, there was like a, a porno and it was just like uh, fat hag banged or whatever, right? No, nice. and you're like, God, this is a brutal title, right? It was like fat hag banged or something like that. FHB. Just brutal. And the the woman <laughs> was not like she wasn't. Fat you know, she wasn't yeah. f- fat at all or whatever. Yeah. He just like imagine she's just like, Oh, I've done some of my best work. I'm feeling yeah. good about my body. Yeah. I've been going to the gym. What? Who did this title? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> we complain sometimes that they use bad headshots of us or or they'll put they'll give us crappy things like yeah. Nick Kappa as seen on the dick pills ad or whatever. Yeah, yeah, You're like, yeah, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Think I've I've had other credits. I've yeah. been on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, just like fat hag bangs. Yeah. You know so what I mean? You know it's, it's like, oh god. Yeah. The plural is fat hags bangs, not <laughs> fat <laughs> hag bangs. Bang, bang dudes. <laughs> bangs. Just, just so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just like you don't want to. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to. Um, yeah, you don't want to like. Uh, 
be that guy, but you're like, you want to send a complaint? Like, excuse yeah. me, this is this is degrading. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah come on, you know, come on, <laughs> come on, come on. So you're sticking up for the to? fat hags out there? Yeah, no, no. She, wa- yeah. Anyway, I, I am, I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's on there like putting in search terms like beautiful lady has yeah. intimate encounter. Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. like, weird. The video's not coming, uh, up. not coming up. Not coming up. He's banged. He's so brutal. Yeah. <laughs> just so, like we 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 made love. <laughs> Banged. <laughs> I, I'm I'm really disturbed about society because, like, also, where did the 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 jizz on the face thing? Where did that? Yeah. Why is that on every that video? You're yeah. just like, well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't want that. Who, what? Wh- Who wants that? What? Se- what screening room were they in? Like, yeah, you know, like, like a group. survey room. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like they go, okay, guys, how could we? And it's finish called the, the money video? shot. And you're like, that's not money. That's yeah. not right. There's yeah. no yeah. money in that. <laughs> How do we fit? And and like the weird, the worst thing about that is, is like I'm I'm not standing on my soapbox right now. Is the worst thing about that is is you just guys, want to watch two guys come over. Them. Well, guys <laughs> didn't know about that before they saw the pornos. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. It's yeah. just like guys, yeah. like you know, like guys, we're just happy for anything. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and we're like, yeah, yeah. oh wow, that was good. <laughs> oh wow, that was good. You know, and then it's just like, well, this is some guys thing. like, oh, I've got to do it on your face oh, now. Know. Well, it's like doing a backflip on a BMX or something. <laughs> like, i got to do it on the face. Well, because what Gen Z or whatever grew up <laughs> with access to this porn, right? Yeah, so yeah, they yeah, think yeah. sex is like this. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's so, terrible. To them, like, safe sex is a pair of goggles or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is odd though, because that that's the unrealistic expectation that yeah. is there. And I, I watched a documentary on it that was, I think it's like um, ex porn stars or something, and they all yeah. talk about it. Is that there's been this horrible resurgence of people that think that this is what sex is, and this is yeah. how yeah. it always happens and everything. And then like saying like fat acts and everything, <laughs> and it becomes uh, the the terminology and the wording becomes really awful and brutal yeah. for no reason. Yeah, at all. they say like things like hold. This yeah. one got hold, and you're yeah. like. What dude is like, oh, cool, yeah, hold. That's my favorite <laughs> oh, heading. Hold? Hold. I've like, never heard hold before. Hold. That's like hold for so H-O-L-E-D. <laughs> I haven't heard they that. They get hold. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, this, this bitch gets hold or something. You're just like, who Who would ever? Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've had so many second thoughts, like just, of course, I've never closed the, the window down. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I should stop this. Yeah. You know? right. Like, you know, like where, where this is real. Yeah. Mad Max is real. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> but it has been pointed out before that porn sites are actually champions of diversity. So they That's are actually right. very, more progressive than in anything else, you know, yeah, because yeah. it is. It's true. Where else are you going <laughs> to see like a uh, an African American midget, you know, get hold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. old. It's so it's like in porn, everyone gets exploited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at not, three yeah. guys sitting around talking about porn. Yeah, three white dinner. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, anyway. we dragged Sammy anyway, P do... down into the muck. Yeah, you're not, yeah, you're yeah. not gonna get this on two drunk aunties. But we have, we have <laughs> had a record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have had a record lately, man, of not talking about terrible stuff. But this is what people want from us. I feel yeah. like this is why our downloads are way down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's because we need we've... to go foul again. Yeah, yeah, need to go foul. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back. We're we're back, back, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All we needed was one guy, you know? Yeah, yeah. One white guy. At, you know? true. at 9 40 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When we're recording. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> the the content of the conversation, I was thinking it's like 10 p.m. Yeah, you know? Yeah, like yeah. it's just yeah. a night. It's up late. <laughs> this is phone hacks after dark. <laughs> Um, all right, we'll get into the phones. Well, we'll start the episode. Right? Yes, yes, let's start the episode. Ring a ding ding, you got the kings. Welcome to another episode of the Phone Hacks Podcast with me, Mike Goldstein, and the Phoebe to my Monica. Nick oh, Capper. yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's not an offense at all. It's not I, offensive. I like, it's gorgeous. I, I think it's Phoebe. apt. Yeah, I think Phoebe's it's apt. Fun. Yeah, Phoebe's. And Monica's fun. kind of not. She's kind of the uptight Jew. Yeah, really? <laughs> Is that why you really. <laughs> <laughs> You could have yeah. gone for the, you could have been. I don't have a good Jew right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Can could you have been the Rachel? Yeah. Do you reckon you could spot a Jew from behind? Uh, Great question. Ooh, yeah, spot yeah, a Jew yeah. from behind. Yeah. Yeah. I think my Judar is pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I think it's. <laughs> I could do it if push comes to shove. Yeah. Yeah. They have I, like a little complaint wiggle. 
Well, I mean, <laughs> if the yarmulke's on. <laughs> the, the yarmulke's on. Holy that's shit. a dead yeah, giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's a dead giveaway. Yeah, but yeah. for a lady, yeah, it might be hard. I think there's a certain type of ass on a Jew that I could pick out. It's kind of like... You're going to uh, try this out. This could be a <laughs> Patreon episode. You just go walking together. Yeah. We really have dived back into the, to the I muck. love it. <laughs> this is where we belong, in the muck, rolling around. Right. Rolling around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that is good. I, I always had a crush on Phoebe. She was my she was my gal. She and to me, she had the best post Friends career. I don't know if you yeah. watched the comeback. Yeah, the comeback was great. So good. It's so funny. Have wow. you seen it? Apparently, it's awesome. Right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. so good. It's like yeah. a cult, a cult uh, masterpiece. Yeah, yeah. under the rug. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so good in it because she's so believable as that kind. Of, it's just a washed up TV like sitcom actor yeah. from back in the day. It's all very meta. It's very yeah. meta, yeah. yeah. It's but like Fran Drescher doing another TV show. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Very, it's but like she, what, so Birdman. Bird, you know, Michael Keaton. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's, um, it, yeah, it's like that. It's so interesting, but they didn't do it in one shot, <laughs> like Birdman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Imagine yeah. they do everything in one shot for a while. Yeah. That was yeah. a big thing for a little bit. We, were going, we could just do it in one take. A tracking shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just and all one like, take. Oh. And it, it looks like in an action movie, it's sick. Children of Men has one of the best yeah. ones where it's yeah, like yeah, this yeah. consistent oh, shot. So good. And uh, Atomic Blonde has one. I watched yeah. that the other day. And But it's like now the editing, you know, is so good that it's actually not. Yeah. It's not Scorsese following, yeah. you know, Hank, yeah. whatever his name was, in Goodfellas into the bar or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still, in an action movie, it makes sense. But when they're putting it in movies like a, ro- a rom-com or something, yeah. they're like, oh, you can just edit this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Walking yeah. down a <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, you go, you so can cut good. to another camera. We'd be more interested <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. change angles. A yeah, bit. You, can... you can't redo old boy and just him talking to people yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. down the hallway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's just stopping chats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stopping, yeah. <laughs> but he's still holding a hammer. He's for still some holding reason. a hammer. Why are you holding a hammer? I don't know. Anyway, on to the next guy. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you holding a hammer? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I'm just going to fix some shit. Uh, yeah, that's so um, funny. Hold boy. Um, the that's back to hold, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. There yes. You go. Uh, <laughs> he's going, Whoa, 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 let me finish my story. Hold boy, hold boy. Uh, the concept of the pod, if there's any first time listeners, we all swap phones. The spinning wheel decides whether we go through notes, camera roll, search history. I don't think anyone's tweeting anymore. We'd say it every time, so draft tweets isn't a thing, so it's either Facebook memories, occasionally Instagram Ooh. explore page, but that we found out people are very uncomfortable with. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. No, I mean, I it's just cool tits. I mean, like, who cares anymore? I nearly, I nearly got in trouble at a cafe this morning. Oh, uh, yeah? You're zooming like, in? You know, you just have people... No, people like uh, just random people talk to you, and it's weird in Melbourne. You're yeah. like, well, yeah. I just went to Queensland for a holiday, and I was just like... Random people saying good idea. What is this? Yeah. What do you, what do you know me? What's your problem, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. What I mean? So you've been jaded by the city. Yeah, think. I think I have. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm cool with it. You know. I'm cool it, with being jaded. My, by my the wife city. hates it. She yeah. hates it. She and her her dad hates it as well. They're really? Like, Why do you talk to random people? I'm right. Like I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime my parents are in the city, they just talk to everyone. Oh, my parents do the same. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it is an older generation thing. Maybe not with. Yeah, your partner's dad, yeah, but yeah. like I think my parent, well, my dad especially, will yeah. just fucking chat to yeah. anybody, yeah. dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like kind of endearing, I think, you know. And it's like people do get co- uncomfortable, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, uh, and Americans, I think, are more gregarious in that nature. Like if you pass someone, if you're on a walking yeah. path, you always say hi and yeah, nod it's so nice. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I hear my dad talking about me really loudly as if the person in the cafe knows me. Like if I'm meeting him somewhere and he's just talking about me really loudly, and Sammy will just be here really soon and everything. You must know him. Yeah. No? (laughs) No. (laughs) He's just talking about so I don't even think I've told this story on here, but uh, my dad was at LaGuardia Airport in New York and Louis C.K. was sitting by himself just minding his own business. And my dad went up to him and he, because he recognized him, and my dad said, Hey, my son's a comedian in Australia. Oh. And Louis C.K. was like, Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. and my dad cool. was like well all right and then oh you know louis ck started jacking off yeah. now, um, <laughs> my um my dad went up to um yeah in a cafe once and he was like do you guys do a, was this a real fancy like brunswick cafe like a real trendy one and he was like oh do you guys do a like a hazelnut swirl in the coffee and they're like no we're not sure what that is he goes yeah. so go hazelnut syrup it's beautiful he goes gloria jeans do it and he, they go oh no no we don't we don't know what that is and he goes i'll get you one 
and they go, no, 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 don't worry about it. And then later <laughs> that day, he he got the tram into the city, went to Melbourne Central where they used to have a Gloria Jeans. Yeah. He got a bottle of hazelnut syrup yeah. and he took it back to this really trendy cafe and he, he put it on the counter and was like, there's your hazelnut swirl. <laughs> And they were so confused. It's yeah. like, oh, what do we do with this? Yeah. Like, it, goes, it goes, for next time I'm here. It's like, you're here like once every six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you've got this bottle of hazelnut syrup just taking up rent space. <laughs> He's so funny if yeah, he comes back in six months later. He's like, hey, um, yeah, bit of hazelnut swirl. And they're like, oh, you're the psycho. You're, like, you're the guy we've been talking about for six months. <laughs> and it hasn't been touched at all. Yeah. They're like, the nothing. psycho's here. Yeah. here. The psycho's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, curdled. Yeah. I believe a hazelnut swirl from Glory Jeans would last forever. Triple O, they're like, yeah, like yeah. they got the button. They got a button underneath the yeah. desk like he's here. <laughs> Oh, I never said Sam Peterson is our guest. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam Peterson <laughs> yeah. is here. And you've done, you did a bunch of episodes. I think it's been a couple of years since you've been on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we don't, we kind of do hack sometimes. And the other day I was thinking about it randomly. Uh, the One of your hacks was... Dave you, Lawson. I sent a, uh, a image of Lois from Family Guy uh-huh. um, naked. Yeah. And I sent to Dave Lawson and yeah. it said, um, pretty nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or something like that. That's it was nice. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I also sent a photo to Stephen Curry, the actor Stephen Curry, yeah. and it was just my face um, going... Um, Still with the smile from last time I saw you, <laughs> ah, or something that's like true. that. And there, there yeah. must have been another one. Well, the one well. I was thinking of was it was some like hot f- oh my fitness God. Yeah, influencer. Was it was some hot fitness influencer, and you just like put it in your stories, and like you said, I'm so proud of my cousin or something. Yeah. It was it was on it was a Facebook. Oh, post. that was that yeah. was a good one. And it was yeah, still really proud of my cousin how hot is she she's killing it yeah something. yeah and it was uh, like it was so we- it, to it me like so weird, weird. Yeah. And, but, and like obviously not your cousin and just some hot lady yeah, yeah. but I think I told you like ages later I was sitting with a friend having a drink yeah. and I was like oh yeah and I was on this podcast um, phone hacks and she goes oh my god and then I told her that it somehow came up there yeah. was a and she goes oh my god I've been thinking about that every day because <laughs> she's like she's like it was so weird that you posted that yeah because it wasn't like like it wasn't too weird for someone to go, oh, that's, that's bullshit. Yeah. 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 Really? It was kind of subtle. Well, that's a it, great it, one. My cousin's it, hot. it was like, yeah, for decent. clout, you've lied. You've con- yeah. co- cocked to this story <laughs> that I'm related to this. Yeah. yeah. And then saying my cousin's hot. Yeah. And so, like, there was levels of weirdness to it that, like, I, it, and I, you know, hadn't seen you again in a while. <laughs> and this was before I even saw you at the gig. And I was just like, fuck, that was a strange one. That was a weird yeah. one. <laughs> That'd be funny to resurface because that was so long ago yeah, yeah. it'd yeah, be yeah. good if we like if you if you're up for it at the end we'll see how it goes <laughs> yeah but we just <laughs> we just said how weird and fucking <laughs> bizarre well, we should re- <laughs> repost a story of like someone really some only fans model really hot like um, my cousin is killing it right now. Oh, like, it's follow back, her page. He's back to the cousin. Yeah. Follow her page. Yeah, yeah. My, my cousin like, is killing it right now. <laughs> uh, follow we, her page. We should get into the phones, though. Oh, that's um, so, good. so we'll hand our phones to the right. So I'll spin the wheel first and pass my phone over to Sam Peterson. You can hold on to your phone for now. Oh. Um, and then I'm like if, too keen to hand it over. Yeah, eventually you'll hand yours to Caps and I'll get Cappers. There's the wheel. Still beautiful sound, yeah, beautiful, beautiful sound. sound. Yeah, yep. hot stuff. Yeah, yeah. That is notes. All right. So there's a bunch of set lists there. 2024 joke ideas. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah just let's have try a that. Scroll through that. I think you. I did a bunch of new at Cooper's on Saturday, so there might be the most recent in there might be iterations yeah. of uh, setups you saw that night. Oh, you got you got Epstein Island. Had pickle, had pickleball. Had yeah, pickleball. so I think oh, yeah. we've talked we about that talk before. That yep. Yep. Um, the cat's five p.m. dinner time ruins my schedule. Yeah, um, that's how about a weird? How about weird? A real, uh, it does though. That's a real forty-five-year-old joke you got there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about these what about damn cats? Men? What's that? Short men week or weird elbows heckle? I think we've oh, covered, yeah, we've covered, those. We've covered those. Go down, oh, I'm go down maybe. Yeah. Go right down. How does the how does the cats ruin your schedule? Because if I sit at the table and try and do work from 
say 3 p.m by 3 p.m they're thinking they want their 5 p.m dinner right yeah. and by say sit at the table and you know do work eventually turn to you know maybe yeah. a page we've discussed earlier on yeah. the show a fat hag getting banged yeah, yeah, yeah. and because Cold. they're they're on the table now staring and meowing at me i can't you know, okay. see my He's work so funny. out. <laughs> what about what about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. yeah. What about? Tong, I'm so glad I don't have cats in there. Oh, this is great. So yeah. say it again. Tong, a sausage, straight to the face. Um, I was with the Melbourne Roadshow crew, and you feel like a big dog when you get people into the Virgin Lounge that otherwise couldn't right. have gotten access. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So we got me and one other, uh, Bron Lewis, who you do the podcast with, she's a virgin. So we got the two other people, the the peasants that, you know, don't have lounge access. Yeah, yeah. Lounge. I'm one of those. Yeah. Brett usually gets me in. How do what? you not have gold? Yeah, should, yeah. yeah, yeah you travel so much. I probably should get and gold. And it's, awesome, yeah. it's awesome to be in there as well because you get all of it's like a pizza hut smorgasbord of some of the worst food oh man you'll ever have it's really life. gone downhill like it feels good it really, when you're going because yeah. i'm a virgin and yeah and it's like yeah. it's it's just so funny to go in there and you're just like oh this is really shit oh did the egg slop they serve you in the morning yeah. is some of the most disgusting oh my looking God. that's it's, why i just i just always go in at night and just have a drink there and you just feel yeah feel a little the free bit booze is huge yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but somehow the eggs are wet and dry at the same time oh, i don't know yeah. how they do it <laughs> i don't know how you're doing this be absolutely fucking it yeah. mike, mike goes in and steals the tea tea bags i do we steal got that tea in a yeah, yeah, yeah. they've got good cookies if i know i'm going cookie, to a hotel that doesn't have a good selection of tea bags i'll absolutely fill my pockets i love that so um, all right. The so we're in the lounge. Look at us being related. We're talking about lounge access. I think it is relatable. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. A, a lot of people have been in there. We're yeah. not in the captain's lounge or anything. Uh, to be. Oh, one, day. one day. How do you get in there? Sit with the pilot. Yeah, I'll sit on the captain's lap. You've got to be, Nick, you gotta be Nick Cody. You've got to right. be in an ad or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Um, so we're in the line. Like everyone's like mostly got their food and just sitting down. And this one guy cuts in front of me, right? So he's at the egg slop station. And <laughs> they also have the little chipolatas right and he's looking at the chipolatas for a while and rather than um you know grab the tong and then put some on his plate like a normal human being he tongs a sausage straight into his face fuck it inhales it puts the tong back and walks off and, oh, and wow. I, go, I go back to the group and i'm like what um, they could tell they're like what just happened you know yeah. you look like something something bad and i'm like i just watched a fucking man <laughs> Tong a sausage straight into his Farm fucking to table, yeah. <laughs> dude, and it like it broke me. Like I was it, the rest of the day, I was just thinking about this man, and you know, and like and I was like, <laughs> and what is his life as well? Because he do that with everything, yeah, as well. But I he, he love is, I love this guy. He wants to watch the world burn. <laughs> yeah, 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 he, he does. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck up everybody in the Virgin. One well, sauce at a time. And you're you've got to burn in your mind. He's going back to his mates. He goes, you wouldn't believe what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not not only did he this. cut, you know, in line, which yeah. you know, there's the system is bad at the Virgin yeah, Lounge yeah. in Sydney. But then he fucking then Alpha's it more. He's the king of the lounge at this He's point. king of the lounge. <laughs> I'm king of the lounge. <laughs> yeah. Tongue and a sauce right into my mouth. I'm surprised. And walking right off. Yeah. Surprised he wasn't like, uh, you know, standing near a, a, a fire of burning bags, you yeah. know, and he's wearing some mask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and his face is covered in like just tomato sauce or something like that. Yeah. You guys are like worshiping him. Oh, if he did mess. that, if he tonged to dip in the communal oh, wow. ketchup yeah. and then to the face. And then uh, like a double dip, that would have been fucking double dip. next level. Oh, double <laughs> dipping is the grossest. Like oh, yeah. When you see someone double dip, but yeah. I think Tong, like, I think him being a double dipper is great. Like he would be a double dipper. He would be a double dipper. But also dip. he's, he's elevated it. Like yeah. that's how he's elevated it so much because it started with double dipping just really slowly. Yeah. And now it's just straight Tong yeah. sauce in mouth. Like he's, <laughs> he's the ultimate double dipper. Oh, dude. It'd be so cool if he just walked, because you know they got the champagne there, just grabbed a bottle. Oh, just yeah. Chugged it, it. Put it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, one time uh, I was in uh, Hobart, I think, and Wolfie remembers this. I I remember it, but I didn't remember it was in Hobart, and I did did this random gig there, mm -hmm. and I was there on a holiday, I think, and Wolfie just turned up. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? And uh, we did this gig, and there were these this is two women <laughs> up the front with a bottle of champagne, and Wolfie's just on a complete. Bender. Bender, right? Yeah. And the show had finished everything, and they're just sitting there having a little glass of champagne. Wolfie walks up, 
grabs a bowl of champagne out of the bucket. Yeah. Fucking just necks it. It all comes down the side of his face, slams it back in the thing and goes, what do you think of that? <laughs> Run and tell that. Yeah. Just walk away. The shock. <laughs> On these two, they were just like flabbergasted. Like, so they didn't respond. They didn't respond. Have you done the gig? Yeah, we'd finished the gig. So they knew him, but it was just like, yeah, I think so. Oh my God. How did did he do well at the gig? I I cannot remember. He he relayed this story. He goes, Remember when you did that? When I did that? And I was like, Dude, I remember that. Where was that? (laughs) What do you I had think no of that? idea. It was like a like a blip in time. Yeah. What do you think of that? Is just such a funny thing to say after that. What do you think like, of that? Like, are you impressed? Yeah. What more do I need to do to impress you? It's like you didn't have to. Are do you that. not entertained? Yeah. You're not entertained. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I not good enough for you? <laughs> and what if they go? Is it good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it good, man? Uh, Is yeah, it good, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend of mine um, just hates sentimentality so much and. Um, during I did my um, first ever solo show this year and I was building up to it and I told my friend that I was going to end on a really, really sad note. Uh-huh. Like I was going to, because I talk about my brother a bit and like, you know, he's, he's he's been homeless for a while and he's had drug problems his whole life and everything. I was talking about him and his name's Michael and I was like, oh yeah, so it ends with um, me just going like out of nowhere because I talk about my brother a tiny bit in the show, but just going, you're proud of me now? Michael, and then it's a blackout. And then my friend goes, right. But then he believed me because then we got escorted off into another room, like right. somewhere. And so he still thought that that was the end of the show. And it's going, you're proud of me now, Michael. And just like the Fade blackout, the black. just like, <laughs> like a, a really intense blackout. And then I'm just there already bowing, waiting for my standing ovation. <laughs> just like, I'm already bowing, like really hard. And if you wait long enough, a standing ovation will always happen. So you just wait there for the longest Fuck, time. Dude, just um, going, how are you? <laughs> you're proud of me now, Michael. And people are going, who the fuck's Michael? Yeah. We talked about him once in the yeah, show. What? Who dude, proud how? Of what do you think of that? <laughs> How rough is that for your parents? Yeah. One of their sons is homeless and the other one's a comedian slash podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they go thing. wrong? <laughs> no wonder your dad's buying a hazelnut <laughs> swirl at the, He's have at the thing. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> Two strikes. <laughs> one Usually of one of them's good. <laughs> one of them spent their early 20s hanging out with two addicts yeah. for a very long time. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's you. Yeah. It's yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Pretty cool, actually. <laughs> what do you no, think of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my sons is homeless, and the other one's wearing a Seinfeld hat. (laughs) (laughs) Doing pretty well. I just know Uh, it's a Seinfeld hat. I'm not a good guy. I like it. Double dipping. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Yeah. it's a good hat. I um, people always kind of when they see me, they always ask about. Do you mean like Jerry Seinfeld, the comedian, or the TV show? And it's Uh, like it's a weird distinction. Yeah, it's a weird. I I like the TV show, but (laughs) it's a weird distinction to have to like to. Actually, have to explain yourself. Yeah, someone yeah, goes, yeah. What a, I, I, go, I like the hat, and also I like the TV show Seinfeld. Gary Goldman, the great comedian, was on Seth Meyers, and he said to Seth Meyers, "Do you know the actor that played Jerry on the Seinfeld show?" <laughs> and it was such a funny question. And Seth Meyers doesn't even really register how yeah, funny fun. it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's you know, so great, man. <laughs> I was just like saying like a word slightly wrong. Like I always call him Seinfeld. Oh, I was going, Seinfeld. yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah. And no one corrects you because it's too petty for them to <laughs> bring it up to go, ah, yeah, Seinfeld. But the double dipping episode of Seinfeld, I think, is one of the best. Oh, it's great. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, I've been yeah, watching yeah. it again recently, obviously, with my ass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just have, all I watch. <laughs> just have one dip and end it. It's yeah. so good. And then yeah. the it's like putting your whole mouth in the dip. That guy, that the bit actors in Seinfeld oh, oh, so good. are some of the best. Yeah. Some of the best. Yeah. Putty is incredible. Well, Putty's a big role. Yeah, like in Some of the, just yeah. the weird people who just have a few lines yeah, throughout yeah, yeah, yeah. Seinfeld are amazing. The, the librarian is one of my favorite yeah. characters. Oh, He's Bookman. so intense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bookman's great. <laughs> the what, the guy in the um, the cookie episode that just says, he just says, sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. So good. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I love actors like that that have a very tiny role, but they make it. They put everything oh, into dude. it, and you can see it on stage as well. Like if you go and see like a production or something, and there's one person giving it their all, yeah. and you're like, you're really committing oh, to this one hundred percent. But uh, Bob, o- I just read Bob Odenkirk's book, oh, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is fantastic. It's really good. Yeah. And he said, yeah, um, his role in uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm as the swinger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeah, porn yeah. Star the first guy. episode, I think. Yeah, yeah and he yeah. just riffed it. Um, like Larry David told oh, I just say a funny porn story you've heard or whatever. Yeah. And he said, just 
like Tabasco? every second day someone comes up uh, and just says it to him on the street. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah. I love that. It's pouring the Tabasco in his yeah, day, yeah, right? Yeah, Tabasco oh, beer. Classic. Yeah, it's so, so funny. Good. Uh, should oh. we keep moving? Yeah, yeah, let's keep it moving. All right. So, Capper and Sam's phone, you are looking at. Oh, my God. How do you feel about camera roll? If you don't like it, yeah. If you don't like it, yeah. I'm not sure about camera roll actually. I'm not. I don't think I have anything oh, that exciting. We can do there. notes because yeah, yeah. it was almost it was notes. Do you want notes, Captain? Or I, search? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me notes. You've been writing. I've got, well, I've got right. I've got. I've got joke ideas, or I've got TikTok. Whatever's ideas. more fruitful. <laughs> Let's go joke ideas. Joke ideas. Then, yeah. Joke ideas. Great. All right. Here we go. Let's yeah. give, give me some joke ideas. Give me some joke ideas. And if they're not good, I'm going to TikTok. Me being me being out of stand up for six months and coming back in joke ideas, going, what did Seinfeld do? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever noticed? <laughs> the way you write your notes is beautiful. Mike and I just we don't even use full stops or anything. You've yeah. got like uh, you've got like. Uh, He's got punctuation. Headings. Yeah, yeah. He's got, got headings. punctuation, headings. This is beautiful. It's <laughs> like Thank a you so much for that. Is this the best one you've been through? Yeah, 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 wow, yeah it is. <laughs> it's aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. it's all very yeah. nice. It's too. really nice to read. I'm <laughs> like, oh, I want to say these. Yeah. Um, snake bit. Push the friendship. Push the friendship. So I did this. I tried this out um, the other night. It's basically uh, me talking to a because I'm like at the moment I'm 32. I've kind of made all of my friends. Like I feel like yes. I've, I've settled in my friendships, and mm. now I'm just cu- culling them back. Like I want to kind of know what kind of friends they are. Like are they going to take me to the airport? What kind of friends are yep. they? And the other day I'm sitting with a friend, and I say, if I was bitten by a snake, would you would you help me? And he's like, of course, of course, I would help you. We're we talking suck out the venom. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, what if I raise the stakes a little? bit and like if i was bitten on the dick would you like would you suck it out uh-huh. and he's like oh and i'm like what if i just and i'll like raise the stakes a yeah. little bit again what if i like to just start to enjoy it a little bit like i'm dying yeah, like, it's yeah. my dying wish and i like just start to like rub the back of your head <laughs> like is that okay <laughs> or are you like strictly professional yeah and he's like no i wouldn't i wouldn't do that i would never i would yeah. never do that and um, I go, oh, okay, well, what kind of friend are you? I'm dying. What kind of friend are you? And he's like, what kind of friend are you waving your dick at snakes? Yeah. And, uh, oh, and, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But then, yeah. But then I tried the other night and I was like, oh, I thought it was really funny. Yeah. I was like, um, this is the guy that r- ran up to me oh, after he, and gave me my tag. Yeah. But I was like, I thought it was funny to then say, uh, and going, yeah, what kind of friend are you waving your dick at snakes? And I go, no, fair enough. No, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I do have to go though because I've just been bitten by a snake. Yeah. Said that. And I was like, I thought that was a funny line. And it got nothing. And yeah. then I went, oh. And then I saw this guy's eyes like up the front going. Oh. Like he had ideas. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't need instant feedback on my bomb <laughs> of a joke. What? So th- was this, did he give you a tag for this? He did. Yeah. What he was said the tag? Do you remember? He goes, there's something really funny about saying something about um, if you, after the joke, you go, are there any reptile experts in the room? Uh-huh. So uh, I've ended the joke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine yeah. doing that, kind of, doing a whole joke, and then you go. So anyway, are there any reptile experts in the room? Someone goes, yeah. I go, what sort of reptile? Like, where do you go? From yeah. Here? Go, oh, what sort of reptiles Dude, um, do you work with? Seinfeld's <laughs> in town at the moment. You sure he wasn't in the audience? Because yeah. that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. Seinfeld was that's Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. That's Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, reptile expert, and then the, someone goes, yes. <laughs> yes. And then you go, is there any... Snakes that actually bite yeah. dicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're like, no. My and thought would like, be cool. like, uh, why'd you bring a snake to the orgy? Yeah. You know what I mean? Who bought yeah, a snake yeah, yeah. to the orgy? The guy's like, look, you, I'll fuck you in the house, but I'm not going to suck the venom out of your dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm tr- trying to fuck this bloke in the ass. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you, you got bitten on the dick by a snake. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Dude? yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I like that. Yeah, it was just so funny to just have the instant feedback right away to go. Okay, I know that. I know that bit didn't work. Yeah, but I'm trying to work out how it works. Yeah, of course. And I'm as, as I'm like looking at you. You just rocked up, and then there's this guy talking in my face. Yeah. about this one bit. <laughs> but also, look, I'd just like to let you guys know, you're both good friends of mine. If you guys got bitten on the if you guys got bitten by a snake, yeah, no matter where, I would just suck you off anyway, because that's got to chill you out, right? So if I got because bitten, ultimate on the relax. Arm. Shock yeah, yeah, is the yeah, number yeah, one yeah, killer, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So you're, you're in shock. You'll get I'm out. I'm relaxing. The, yeah. yeah, you'll I get start, out the real poison. Yeah, I start. Yeah, yeah. I start sucking you off, and you're like, 
oh, well, this is unexpected, but I'm not in shock anymore. Yeah, I might <laughs> die in five minutes, but I'll die happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's something funny about I'll die with coming. the most mediocre head job ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually the most nightmare scenario I can think yeah, of. Yeah. I'm dying from a snake bite and Capra sucking up me off. It's like and why hell. you are? <laughs> yeah, dude, this is actually... <laughs> just, the, the paramedic rocks up yeah. and he just walks away. <laughs> He's yeah, like, oh, I don't dude. know. I would just I be like... I'd just be begging someone to kill me quick. You know? <laughs> Let him like, die. Yeah, someone, someone have a gun, you know? Like someone... Shoot him in the <laughs> You're like, oh, damn it, I'm enjoying it. Kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's so funny. Uh, uh, anything uh, else in the notes? Uh, this is kind of um, sarcasm. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, yeah. So, so um, the other day someone told me that my voice is really naturally sarcastic and mm-hmm. I've never really... I don't really know really? what to do with it because it's just like, it's I, just my voice. I think because you're kind of a, a, a bubbly presence, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a good thing. They just, they just think uh, it's sarcastic. So I, yeah. was, I just said to her, when my friend's granddad died and I was like, I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah. And they were like, oh, I can never tell when you're being serious or not. And yeah. I was like, that doesn't mean you think I'm being sarcastic. That means oh, you yeah, think yeah. I'm a bit of a cunt. Yeah. Like, that means that you think I'm an awful person. Yeah, yeah. If I'm going, I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah. And so I was, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to write a joke about how my voice is naturally sarcastic. Yeah. But I've, I, and maybe thinking, like, I've tried other voices. Could you go, like, a lower register? Well, yeah, I was thinking of going, like, a lower, like, going really low, but, like, doing it, like, but I always sound like a 1940s villain. Like, I'm yeah. like, yeah. Um, sorry about your granddad's cheese. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, full Barry White. The like. old fella. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the old fella yeah. cocked it. Hey, he's in the box. <laughs> he's in the box, she. <laughs> down by the old milk bar. He's down by the old milk bar. Yeah. 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 Got a lot of moxie. Yeah. 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 So you read about it in the papers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. read about it in the papers. <laughs> so I think that's a funny thing. Yeah. But, man, I, I think what probably, um, uh, you know, is your, your voice is partly camp. Yes. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, it yeah, is yeah. partly camp. And yeah. camp, the camp voice is sarcastic. You have to be yeah. enthusiastic. Like, oh, can't wait for that one. That's yeah. going to be great. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you go... Oh, can't wait for that one. Yeah, 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 <laughs> He's yeah, just yeah. like, I oh, can't wait fuck. for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just like, fuck, he's taking the piss here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here so sorry for your loss. You're like, oh, I'm so sorry yeah. for your loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rest you have to in, hype up everything. Different. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, a lot of vitriol behind those words. <laughs> rest in peace. <laughs> That's a bit sexy. I'm a little bit sultry there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest rest in in peace. (laughs) (laughs) You sick son of a bitch. I'm just smoking a cigarette as I'm saying. He had some moxie. (laughs) He had some real moxie. (laughs) Uh, All right. Capra's phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do it. It's time. It's time. It's happening. It's happening. And Capra's phone. Do people uh, ever refuse to go through stuff? Like, are you? Yeah, we're you guest rarely. friendly, so we'll be like, if you're not comfortable with something, then just tell us what you are. Yeah, you know? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but generally, either people will kind of like vet their camera roll before coming in, or <laughs> yeah. you know. So it's. Um, I don't think anyone's flatly refused. Yeah, We've, I think we're just like. People seem. We had says on two episodes ago, and she her eyes just went like fucking wall like, yeah <laughs> that's so funny she's yeah. like what what are you doing you know yeah. so we got her to read her notes out to yeah. us yeah yeah, um, yeah yeah but yeah that's that's it that's more search history for cap oh man this would be like pretty this could be pretty brutal well, yeah. not, not brutal just been in on a the mundane road. way been on the road. he's been yeah, on the wild yeah, hogs yeah. tour this could be just weird hold, shit. hold yeah actually there's some stuff you might like there mike i was uh uh probably like five or six down it's kind of pretty 41 year old white man shit. Wes Borland of Limp Biscuit, and then I got to click on it, but what, where is It's a YouTube video. So yeah, what's yeah, he, yeah. It's, a, it's just like I went in a hole of like, because so, it's got that um, punk rock NBA guy, right. and he does like all 90s metal music. Yeah, like, you yeah, know, yeah. kind of all punk. Yeah. You know? And yeah, the guitarist from Limp Biscuit, the genius of him. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, because he did this, uh, he left Limp Bizkit and he did this project called Big Dumb Face, which was meant oh, to be yeah. like Primus and Ween, because right. his favourite band is Ween, like yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, And I always laughed at it. I'm like, this is, you're an idiot, dude. Yeah, You yeah. could only play in Limp Bizkit. 
Like, you fucking don't ever try to capture lightning in a bottle like yeah. Ween. You know, it's like... Yeah. You're, don't you're even fi- try. And, uh, and my mate and I, we always put that film clip on, Big Dumb Face or his side projects, because we're like, you idiot. <laughs> and then this this documentary made me really love him because he admits to all of that. He's yeah, like, yeah, right. I played in Limp Biscuit and I left. I just got too big for my boots. Yeah. And I tried to play, like, Ween stuff and realised that I wasn't good at it. And... Um, yeah, I'm always will be in Limp Bizkit now, and because uh, that's all I can do properly. And I was like, "Fuck, I actually really love this." Yeah, guy I like now. this guy now. <laughs> and I went in a full hole, and I had all these guitar tech stuff. Yeah, I'm not even—I don't know anything about guitars, but I was like, "Wow, this is so cool to see." Yeah, it was, like, yeah, it was yeah. often stylistically like they were in two different bands because you get Fred Durst with the backwards red baseball hat, like you know, and just dresses like a hip hop guy, whatever. Yeah. And then West Borland, like black. Yeah. Uh, contacts, like filling his whole eye and like the static X hair and like yeah. giant boots. And I always just thought it was a weird combo of, I don't know, like do these dudes, are they on are the they same the page? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what, yeah, him and him and Fred when it re- were really at fucking heads, which shows right. you how important money is. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like they, They're back together now. Yeah, yeah. But they said that that was the important, that's what brought Limp Bizkit out from the crowd was that they had this contrast of this rapper guy that yeah. was angry, full jock bro, yeah, and then this full artist guy, because he was he was never meant to be a guitarist. Right. He, was, he wanted to work in special effects and stuff. Yeah. And he just yeah. played guitar as a hobby. Right. And he just, you know, and then I was like thinking, oh, they do, he did do some pretty weird sounds, but yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the, you know, an insight into your process. Wes Borland, you know, you did go into a deep dive. And then how many eggs should you eat? Yeah. <laughs> like legally? Yeah. My, <laughs> legally, <laughs> legally. Yeah. How many eggs can I legally eat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because uh, I've been uh, doing Dry July, sponsor me now. Yeah, I should uh, put that out. Um, it's been awesome. I actually feel really good. Yeah, and I've just been going crazy with my diet as well. And I figured, it, I figured boiled eggs are the loophole. In they snacking. really are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a, if you have like a boiled egg or two boiled eggs yeah. before dinner, yeah. then you have dinner. Yeah. You don't snack afterwards. Yeah, That's you can true. stop. You can stop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, but I ate. I ate um, three eggs before I had steak and vegetables, and then my, my my wife was like, "Oh, my stomach's hurting a bit," and I'm like, "Yeah, mine too. It might, you might have just cooked that steak a little bit rare." And she's like, "No, I don't think I did. I think I did a very good job on that steak." And I'm like, "Oh, that's right. I ate three eggs before." I had. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> "And my three eggs." She's yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah." She's like, "It was probably that. Yeah, that you, you ate your three, three eggs, eggs then a steak. That would be on tray of three yeah, eggs." Yeah, yeah. What, what did you find out? Did you find out that you can only? Yeah, eat how many eggs, eggs can you eat? Uh, well, I reckon four is good a day. Yeah, yeah, but I reckon right. you got to space it out. Yeah. You can't have it's four scoffing. eggs in one sitting, like. <laughs> Yeah, just protein in general is the key. Uh-huh. Chicken, eggs. Well, you'd know better than me, Mike. You're, but I reckon, um, yeah, just space it out and just have four. But yeah. four is the absolute max, I reckon. Oh, dude. It de- but it also it depends how much exercise you have because yeah. bodybuilders and stuff, they're eating like six eggs. But I'm not exercising eggs. that much at the moment. So yeah, thought, okay. So you're not, just you have four. Four is probably four too many. Is good. Yeah. It's probably four too eggs many. Every day. It's <laughs> funny to end like one of the dirtiest episodes we've done in a while on like, uh, how much protein intake yeah. should you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working yeah, it's okay on to exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, those guys that spray at the same time, how many eggs are they having? <laughs> a lot What's of protein in there. A lot of eggs for them. One time I read Tommy lee's um uh book which is terrible by the yeah, way yeah right um i just finished the dirt which is the awesome. dirt is amazing crazy dude yeah and um but he hang hung out with a porn star and he's like oh why are your loads like so big oh here we go all right so we're, yeah, yeah, we're back yeah, we're back back from eggs <laughs> we're back I, I thought i'd bring it back <laughs> okay, for you guys yeah, thanks, yeah. and this is probably bullshit but he said celery yeah because there's so much moisture in it Oh, yeah, right, he goes. Right. You eat like a bloody a huge watermelon? bit of celery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watermelon. I mean, and celery. surely then just drinking water would give you. Well, that's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when <laughs> Anyway, maybe water. celery's uh, got the. All right, yeah, you yeah. heard it here first. A couple of eggs. Well, you heard it if you read fucking Tommy Lee's book on his. <laughs> well, guys, we're gonna do our synchronized wank out there. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. I'm gonna order celery that's on the Uber true Eats. test of friendship. One you know? kilo of celery. Yeah. <laughs> we'll test and wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sam Peterson, thank you so much for being back on the pod. Thank this you. I feel like we've kind of uh, the last. I'm not 
casting yeah. dispersions on guests, but the last few episodes have been a little tricky, and I think we, you've, you've got us back on stride Back again, in the dude. dirty. Yeah. That's what I like to do <laughs> at 9.40 a.m. I yeah. like to do that. I like yeah. to talk about coming and old and <laughs> all the great things. Yeah, 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 dude. Fat Hag gets back. Fat Hag gets a mention. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to Fat terrible. Hag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you got two pods at the moment. We I mentioned do. two drunk aunties with yep. you and Bron Lewis. Two drunk aunties with Bron Lewis, which is so much fun. Love yep. to have you both. And it's on, on our that. label, DM. Yeah, podcast. it's on DM. Great. And then um, Confessions, which is, I read. Um, Weekly Reddit awful confessions to people. Yeah, um, yes. great guests every every single week. So I'm still that's in its sixth year. Well, you guys would be in your sixth year, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we started around the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So six yeah. years. We started out with the same same producer, same producer. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, shout six. out to Courtney. Such a good dude. Such yeah. a good dude. Yeah. So yeah, six. Um, yeah, six years. So yeah, confessions every week, and you're too drunk, aren't you? Oh, great, great, mate. Great. Uh, we got the Patreon. We just did an episode before where I talked about doing uh, one of the most insane corporate gigs I've ever. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, get get across, that. listen to that. Capper put up a clip of him performing in a blue gorilla suit. Yes. Amazing. That's uh, going off. Yeah. That's going <laughs> no, off. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, That's yeah, going yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about liking that. Yeah. Don't worry don't about, about liking that. it. That's already going off. It's going off. Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't think it would go that well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm experimenting with the Patreon. I just thought... I've got a fair bit of time now, and I was like, "Oh, we've because we neglected you guys for a bit. Now, now I'm just throwing up heaps of stuff. Great. And then I realized, really... People only want to see two things in the Patreon. They want to hear us talking shit yeah. about stuff we wouldn't talk about or us uh, <laughs> embarrassing ourselves on stage doing comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. I reckon True. we've got to really lean into that, man. I reckon we've got to start writing jokes for our, uh, each other and doing them at, at uh, open mics. Yeah. That's so I reckon funny. that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm into yeah, it. Yeah, I All reckon right. that's so out. Look forward to that. Next, uh, yeah. <laughs> look, look forward, forward to, to that. <laughs> Mike's <laughs> not going to do it. He's so not going to do I'll it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. does the crowd know? Because of the context in the past is the crowd knows we've written the joke. The crowd does not know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a podcast some dude tried to start where comics write material. For oh, we could other. do one where the crowd knows. How Time would you say die. it? Would you go to an open mic and go, hey, guys, I'm going to do something that someone yeah. else wrote for me? Do a live phone hacks where you do. I guess I guess you and I have to do it at the same time. It's, that's why the crowd should be a live on X crowd. Yeah, and we just, uh, yeah. So maybe a live show will be coming up. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got no solos to plug. I'm pretty much done until I'm on the Gold Coast and October. So I'll plug that more when we get closer to. Anything else? Nah. Nah. Thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> you so much. Oh, and sponsor me on Dry July. There uh, you that'd, be, that'd be really great. All right. Send you oh. some eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four per day. Celery, <laughs> eggs, oh, whatever yeah. you got. Oh, also, if you're in uh, Coffs Harbour, uh, Glenray, or Bellingen, I'll be there next weekend. So, I mean, this weekend. So, yeah, yeah. Come, right. come to those. See you later. Bye. You Bye. Bye. Bye.